Hello fellow Saiyans and other life forms. In today's video we have the anniversary box 2020 which I took out of the package and then I took out the cardboard but I haven't looked at the sleeves. Still a mystery and we're gonna open up my I'll have to say this is my second favorite design. I mean it's definitely like more like detailed than the than my favorite one but like the other one, like, it's just the best one, in my opinion. But yeah, in today's video, we're going to open up the one that has all Goku designs. So, like, pretty sick. Yeah, like, Dragon Ball Z Goku. You got Super Goku in here. You got, like, OG Super Saiyan shot. Inside, you have GT Goku. You got Dragon Ball Kid Goku. You got some more Z and uh, Super. So you got like the the birth of a Super Saiyan God image. You have the, uh, I think this was from the Gogeta leader. Even though it's the Veku transformation. Because their fingers aren't lined up. You got like the angry Goku turning Super Saiyan. You got Ultra Instinct. Then on the bottom, which I think is super sick. It has... Goku, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan God, uh, SSB, and Ultra Instinct on there. So, that looks sick. Definitely gotta say, this box is very awesome looking, but I gotta say, my favorite one, which is going to be next, in the next video, is the Super Saiyan 4 box. So, yeah, let's get into it. Uh... So, uh, yeah, I removed, like, the cardboard that comes in it just to get some of the stuff out of the way. But, yeah, it comes with, you get two of the 35 uh, exclusive anniversary box cards, uh, non-foil. Then you get two packs with uh, five foils of those 35 cards. So, basically, you could get three of some of the cards. And then you get four of the reprint packs, which definitely looking forward to. You get the card sleeves, and of course you get one of four boxes. So uh, out of the four, you could have got the All Gokus, the Super Saiyan 4 box, the Agent of Destruction box, which also I think looks sick. I wouldn't have mind getting that one. And then the Goku Black one, uh, Rosé one, which... I think they should have made that one like all Goku Black and like Zamasu. That would have been like a really sick design. But instead I think it's like very plain and basic. Even though it has Broly on there. But it's like the like galactic battle image from him. So I think they could have made it better. But so yeah that's probably like my least favorite design. Even though I think Goku Black's pretty awesome. But let's get into it. So, we get the package with the promos that were guaranteed. So, you get all 35 cards non-foil. And you get two, two copies of each. And then, we got the special anniversary packs and the reprints. And we got the uh, Unison Warrior uh, sleeve. So, it has uh, Vegito Blue, uh, Gotenks. Uh, Adult Gotenks, Gogeta, and Super Saiyan Bardock. I believe it's because all of these are the uh, Unison cards, I believe. I I don't think actually Gotenks has a Unison, but I know Gogeta, Vegito Blue, and Bardock are Unisons. So that's cool. Uh, I don't know if it says... They come with 66 sleeves, so yeah... If you do a 50 card deck and then your 15 sideboard, you have one sleeve left over. I think they should have given you more since they now made it, you could play 60 cards. I think maybe they should start giving you like 75 sleeves. Just in case, but I guess that's up to you. So, uh, let's just go over the cards that you get guaranteed and then we'll save the more random chance cards for last. So, we're starting off with Frost. Oh, I, I think these aren't 
in order. I thought that they would give you two two copies back to back. So we got the Frost Unison Leader. We got Jiren, Legend of Universe 11, which is another Unison Leader. We got the Sun Goku Resolve Renewed. We got Vegeta Resolve Renewed. I think this is both uh, Vegeta support. Yeah, and then we got a new Vegito that plays, uh, that helps get out Vegitos with seven, seven or less energy cost to evolve into it. Then we got, uh, Frieza Prison Support and Frieza Irate Emperor and, uh, Vege Planet Vegeta's Final Moment. Damn you, Frieza. And then we got, uh, Jan the Janimba Agent of Destruction, uh, Unison. Then we got the Turles Unison, or uh, the Turles Agent of Destruction card. So yeah, Agents of Destruction got new support. They have more support than these two cards, I, I believe. They're just out of order. Then you got Janimba support, and uh, Janimba Raging Incarnate of Evil, and Combo Tech Janimba. They got Android 21 support with Restoration. Uh, there's more cards, just they're out of order. You got uh, Majin Vegeta Unison. You got Goku, the legendary fusion warrior. Why? Why is this abomination in here? Then you got Sun Goten and Trunks, Faultless Youth. Uh, some more uh, green Gotenks support. Since uh, I believe we're getting a Gotenks leader next set. Then you got a new fusion. You got uh, Chi Lai and Lemo support with Chi Lai and Lemo the Bandits. And then I believe they also have the card that has uh, Chi Lai, Lemo, and Broly on it. It's an extra card. We got some more Agents of Destruction with my boy Broly, the Invincible Agent of Destruction. I gotta say, this art looks sick. Hopefully, we can pull one of these foil because I think it will look awesome. We got Lord Slug, Mighty Agent of Destruction. We got Android 13, Exterminating Agent of Destruction. Here's the uh, Chile and Limo support uh, extra card, Allied Reinforcements. Then we got Great Ape support in King Vegeta, the Royal Pride Unison leader. We got Great Ape Bardock, Mighty Might of the Resistance. So some more Great Apes. We got some Bojack support in Bojack Galactic Disruptor and Violet Rush Zangia. Then we got some more AOD stuff with Garlic Jr., Immortal Agent of Destruction being added. And also has a little mini, like, preview to Garlic Jr. being introduced into, this, into the game next set. Then, gotta say, Sickest Art, which this is also the, uh other box that you could get is basically this art except like all the cards are like full blown like this and then all arranged together like that so you got the agents of destruction strike back then we got full moon with the great ape you got sun goku jr and vegeta jr saying science for the uh skillless then you got Son Goku and Android 8 Bonds of Battle. Then you got more A AOD stuff with Hatchak, Ventral Agent of Destruction. You got regular Hatchak support with Hatchak Mad with Hate. Uh, some more black support with Max Power Kamehameha, which is awesome art. Then you got more Bojack. I believe this is the uh, dual color. So you got. Uh, Violent Rush Bojack, I think. Is this one the reprint of the other one? Or no, it's in the reprint packs. But yeah, they reprinted the uh, Bojack uh, Agent of Destruction from the expansion sets. I don't think this is it. Maybe it is. I can't remember. And then you got Super 17 Hell's Ultimate Weapon. Pretty awesome. This is a uh, Android 21 support, I believe. It, and then you got the other cards. So yeah, they basically did it weird. I think they should have just made them like back to back. 
So that's it for that. Now to the mystery part of it. So we got two of these special anniversary packs. So you can get any of those cards that we just saw foil. You get five for packs, so you get ten of them in total. Let's see what we can get. So we're starting it off with Max Power Kamehameha. Pretty sick. And then, you, of course, you got like the texturing and the foiling. Awesome. We got the Janimba Agent of Destruction Unison. Pretty awesome. I think this one actually goes for a bit. It's to help the Janimba Mill deck. I don't know why we needed more support for that. We got the Chile and Lemo the Bandits. We got the Son Goku uh, Resolve Renewed. And the Son Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. Saiyan Scions. Yeah, we'll just put that. Now for the second one. So we're starting off with Son Goku and Android 8 Bonds of Battle. So we're getting a lot of skillless support. Eh. Don't like skillless. And then we got Vegeta Resolve Combine. Or Vegito. We got the King Vegeta Unison. We got Hatchek. And we got Android 21. I gotta say... Android 21 looks sick, though, so. That's it for those. I guess we'll sleeve up some of the unison ones because they're probably the better of the promo or the uh, expansion cards. Not exactly 100% sure on, like, the value of what the, some of these are. So. All the cards are going to get sleeved after this, but we're just sleeving some of these for now. Uh, now for the reprints. The ones, the cards that we really wanted the most. So in this, we have the... Bardock War Cry, we have the Broly Crown of Retribution, and some of the other cards. Starting it off with Familial Bond. Sick artwork, I'll give it that, but I don't think that this should have been reprinted in this. Make this like a tournament pack reprint or something uh, with like this artwork. Like I think they should have like reprinted some of like the bigger stuff. Like, the more value cards, because this is only, like, a once-per-year thing. Unless they want to do, like, semi-annual, I wouldn't be opposed to that. as a semi-annual anniversary box that has reprints in it. So, we got Familial Bonds. We got Comrades Combined Son Goku, which was from the, uh... The original expansion, the heroes and uh, villains one. So this was from the heroes thing. And this Goku plays out a Vegeta with three or less, I believe. Yeah. So it plays it in rest mode. So I gotta say that art looks sick. Definitely, like, tells the story of when this happened. We got King Vegeta and Vegeta Royal Bloodline. So we got some of the uh, draft box for um, dual colors that were, I believe, like one or two per box or something like that. They weren't guaranteed. And we have Vegeta the Time Regulator. Pretty awesome. Uh, I do like black, uh, like the black decks. And this was like a pretty staple card. For a long while because it was being played in Toa and stuff like that. And like it was a pretty expensive card at one point. Like 30 or 40 or 50 dollars a copy. And now we got a reprint. And this is awesome. So definitely happy with that. Now can we get a 
Ultra Instinct, uh, Goku the Unstoppable, a Bardock Ape, or a Broly, Crown of Retribution, and that would be sick. So we're starting it off with the Hellas Super Combo from, uh, I believe this was from Tournament of Power. I believe it was. So it's like the God Super Combo. It's kind of like the Paragus one, except you have to discard before you draw two. We got Preemptive Strike. Again, um, really awesome, amazing artwork. But I don't think that they should have reprinted it in this box. It was a waste of a spot. Yes! <laughs> we got Bro Broly Crown of Retribution as a non-foil. That is awesome. And... We got the Champa Beerus uh, dual color. So, I uh, don't know if you guys, like, saw from their webpage, but it actually says uh, Kami or Gods in the background in the gold lettering. So, that's pretty awesome. Let's get some sleeves to sleeve that up really quick. So, that is pretty cool. Definitely happy with that Broly. Oh, starting off the bat with the next card that was really great. We got with the Bardock, Grade A Bardock Raiders War Cry. Sick. Definitely happy about that. Then we got Mira Creator Absorbed. Uh, I don't know if this card was going for a lot of money, but I mean, it's definitely a pretty good card. Uh, Overrun for four. And then he gets the the main effect that people always use is his second auto. The other one is like when you union him using the other cards to get him out. So then he gets double strike. And like discards three cards from your opponent's hand. But the other effect that usually people use is that he gains 5k power for every card in your warp. So that's pretty cool. Then we got Oob. Uh, symbol of hope this was one of the i believe this was like one of those tournament packs that you could get it was like back when uh everybody was playing like the shinron leaders uh, i think this they reprinted this to give it for the uh for the chile and lemo shinron leader but i mean who really plays shinron leaders anymore and then final card is Planet Vegeta. Amazing artwork. Really sick. Vegeta's about to do the Gallic Gun on you. Again, uh, I don't think that this should have been reprinted in this. But I, I get the point is that the next draft box is uh, Great Apes. And they did reprint Great Ape. Bardock and then the King Vegeta that is Great Ape support. So I guess they're trying to like get you ready to push Great Apes on you. But I think this should have been like a tournament pack uh, alternative art instead of putting it in this box. Final pack for this box. What can we finish off? Can we get some can we finish off strong? So we're starting off with Chompin' Beerus, Capricious Gods. We got Familial Bond. Awakening Talent Pan. Again, this was from a World Martial Arts Tournament. Uh, I don't think that this card should have been reprinted. I get that people play it, but again, just put it in a tournament pack. That way it's like easier for people to get. And like... I mean, if you're investing like 60 to like $80 for this box, giving you like the better reprints, I think would have been a better idea. And we're finishing on with Hercule and Majin Buu Friends Forever, the blue red um, card also from Draft Box 4. So, gotta say, out of our four packs, we got. The time regulator, which is probably like the best that we could have pulled. But super happy to at least pulled a Grade 8 Bardock and a Broly Crown of Retribution in this box. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I do appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next draft box that we're going to open up.